gonna be working on getting into the HVAC box here to clean out the um, the coil for the uh, AC. It's not blowing very cold and it was really clogged before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it again. Unfortunately, it is kind of a pain. Uh, first thing is to remove this bracket for the um, purge solenoid, get that out of the way. Uh, I've already started to disconnect, took out the um, uh, resistor for the blower motor. I will take the blower motor out as well. Uh, that's all not too bad. Um, but the pain, we have to take this out, the vacuum canister, which are a couple bolts there. And then I need to pull out the um, wheel well cover in order to get at the required bolts that are on this cover and then that cover will separate and um, come out. Okay, I got that bracket moved off um, out of the way. I did forget to mention you need to take, you don't have to, at least I don't think you have to, but I'm gonna take this bracket out with the two bolts up top and the two down there just so I can get easier access to the top um, here. You'll notice this white foam. I didn't have any sealer, so I just took a little expanding foam along the, the edges of this. Um, and there was a hole down here that was cracked, so I just, last time I was in here, um, put some expanding foam in there so that it would seal up the holes. So I'm gonna have to, luckily it doesn't seem like this stuff's very hard to, you know, separate, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, but we'll see once we get in there. Vacuum canister is out, that bracket is out. Next, I'm going to remove the wheel well, like I mentioned. And to do that, you just have all of these screws here, and one there, one here, and I thought one more, but I guess I guess it's only two. I thought it was. I thought there was another somewhere. Um, there's a sensor down here that we have to unplug as well. Ugh. So I have all the uh, screws and bolts loose, and now one of the hard parts is getting taking that sensor off of the flap here. But, oh well. All right, so there you have it. So the wheel well's out and you get a lot more access to everything. Uh, word of caution, the um, horn is right here. And I noticed the first time I did this, that it must have, someone must have been in here before because this was unplugged and the horn wasn't working right. So I just plugged it back in and I got the full tone on the horn. Okay, anyway, so now that we're in here, we can see that where I'm trying to get into is right here. So now I can, I can get up and under and find all of the holes to um, get bolts out. I'm not sure if there are any down here. I'm gonna look around and uh, point them out if they are, I don't remember. Um, so stay tuned. 
So you can kind of see everything a bit better now. I got that heat shield out. It's just pop pops right out. Um, has a few of these. I don't mind only a three left. So someone's been in here before other than me. Um, and I took the tire. I don't have to mention that. I took the tire off to make my life a little bit easier so you can get up right up in here, you know. And see everything. Future knowledge, there were two down here. See these very bottom ones? So I'm gonna take those out and that front cover should come right off. Bottom two bolts out. So now I'm trying to wiggle the uh, the cover up and out of here and that will expose that that little, uh, I don't know if it's the evaporator, the condenser, one of the two, I always get them mixed up. Okay, it's exposed now. Let's see if I can get in there for a good picture. Okay, so my main goal is to pump as much coil cleaner through this side, which actually looks pretty clean. Uh, now again, I cleaned this once before, but I'm just not getting the temperatures I would like out of it. Uh, it's about 60 degrees, maybe 58 or so driving down the road according to the thermostat uh, that I stick in one of the vents. And I really wanna try to get it to, you know, low 50s if I can. So, this was clogged really bad the first time. So I decided to give it another go. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. So you can see that on this side, we still it was like that everywhere. Like just really, really clogged up thick and it was hardly working at all before. It's working a lot better now, but there are still some corners of it. So what I'm doing is um, just taking this bottle of cleaner and trying to get in the channels as deep as I can to push the cleaner through the coil over to the other side. And hopefully, Know, if successful we would start to see the fluid come through the channels out the other side so far not seeing any okay this is the current state seems fairly clean hopefully at least cleaner than what it was. And then this is the other side. It's hard to get back there, but pretty sure the, the fins that are bent a little bit were already bent. I might've bent some more, but Let's see what this does. One more thing I'm gonna do is grab some stick-on insulation and try to put it around this because all that all that protects this from the heat of the engine right next to it is a little tin cover. So I'm gonna see if I can't improve a little bit of this side of the heat absorption. So here it is. I call it the Super Chill 9000. And I just bought this roll of insulated whatever, duct tape, something. Slapped it on here and then used some, you know, real skinny metal duct tape to just help the adhesive on the corners stay down. And then that tin shield would just, you know, loosely uh, slip over the top of it like it was before. Current state, uh, I'm starting to put it back together, got the cover fully on. Got this little tin shield back on again. That was the only insulation that existed before me adding any of my own um, experimental additional insulation here. And got most of the bolts in. I'm short a couple, like I said, but 
it seems pretty sturdy and in there pretty good. So what I'm gonna start to do now is, is put the blower motor back in, put the bracketry back on, move everything that I had taken off back over and then um, start testing. All right, last big hard part here is to get the um, wheel well back in. Tighten down now. Made a homemade uh, air filter here. The flap, when when you're on AC, this is actually up with vacuum. And then I just kind of taped in a. I cut up a piece of cheap high flow uh, filters because these trucks don't surprisingly have a cabin air filter. So I'm using that as my cabin air filter because I think that's the source of a lot of the trouble. Because at full blast, it's sucking everything up, dog hair, dust, blowing it right into that coil. All right, I went and plugged in the ABS sensor and you know, we're about 60, I'd say. A little bit under, I guess. So I'm going to take it on a ride now down the road. I, I, if memory serves me right, I think it is helping because I don't think I was ever able to get to 60 um, at an idle before. And we're a hair under that now. So I'm going to go take it down the road. All right, so I think that's the lowest I've seen it. I just pulled back in the driveway and I'm not driving anymore. So the temperature will probably raise a little bit, but... Yeah, so I think it helped a little bit. 